All right, I'm making this video because I'm sure we've all seen these things in Walmart for catfishing to hold your doe bait, keep your bait on your hook and stuff while you're while you're catfishing and you cast. Okay, last I've used these for a while. No, I've the only problem if you have used them or you want to use them is with the way they come with this little foam sponge on there with the hook over it. I have a problem getting connection with the fish, like set, like you know, getting hookup ratio with with catfish with them, because it seems like it just slides out their mouth or something. So the last couple years that I've used them, if I can get this other hook off here, hold on. The last few years that I've used them, I've put what I call a trailer trailer hook. A trailer trouble hook off one of the prongs at first I wasn't getting good hookup ratios so I tried bending the prongs out on the hook that comes with it still didn't work so I tried this with a little trouble trailer hook there and me and my wife were both actually getting good hookup ratios like that with the little trailer hook but this year I've come up with a new plan and a better way of fishing this thing and still keeping being able to use the nets to hold my bait on the hook because we all know the doe bait really does work better than most baits that you can find unless you're using cut bait well all right so what you're going to need here is some of these little hooks i got them at big five sporting goods they call they're called like live bait hooks mustads i don't know if you guys can see that if it's if it, you can read it. Looks like it ain't gonna zoom. It ain't gonna. Is it just says Mustad four aught live bait hooks, and they're like fifty for like ten bucks. Okay, I got some of those, some of those, and I got these in two different sizes. I got three aught. They're octopus hooks. I got three aught and five aught. Okay, and on the back of these bait holder nets. It shows, if you can see there, that the way you're supposed to fish it is the Carolina rig. But all last year and the last couple of years I've used them, I've used them on these things at Walmart, and they work really good. It's called the high-low rig. It's got two leads on it where it comes off. I don't know if you guys can see that. But on the bottom here, with this little clip, you, you put your weight, and then off these little wire leads here where the beads are you put your hooks or your your leaders I hook up I hook these up to it you know with my little tr trailer hook trouble but they work really good I've actually caught two catfish at the same exact time with one of these rigs and it really works so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your your bait holder nets here your hooks either your octopus hooks with the leaders or these live bait hooks. I got both of them because I'm going to use the octopus ones for the Carolina rigs and I'm going to use these on those high low rigs. Okay. Now I showed you what I have been doing or what I've been doing the last couple years with this little trailer hook thing. But the trailer hook catches on everything. It's a fucking mess. You get, the, this is stuck on your pole and then when you go to go home you're getting, you got stinky bait all over your car if you do drive a car. I was driving my wife's car for like the last couple years when we went catfishing. So then you got that stinky bait still in your car instead of in your tackle box. Well, okay, so what you're going to need is these. Take your little, take your tags off. Do away with the foam sponge and the hooks that come with it right away. Just do away with those. Just pull them out, throw them off to the side. You can use them for something else later. Yeah. So all we want are these things. If they sold them just these by themselves, that would be sweet. But they don't. They, it comes like that. Okay. And then, see, I've already got a Carolina rig rigged up because I didn't want to tie one on camera because I'm holding my phone, you know. It's kind of hard. So for a Carolina rig, you would just take your thing here. You would take, put your weight on, tie on a swivel, 
it's your normal everyday Carolina rig and I actually made this leader with one of those live bait hooks I did it off camera and everything I just used polymer knots polymer knots tied it on there real quick just for a demonstration to show you guys but see this is my plan I haven't really figured it out yet whether I want to do it sideways or this way I think I'm gonna do it this way through the back but look you take this little net deal you've got it got it you got your hooks off there ain't nothing in the way there's a little tube see how it looks like that and you fill it this way pack your bait in or you can just smash it all around where it goes in in the little net deals but this is the way I'm gonna fish it this year I'm hoping it's way more efficient I'll let you guys know in a later video but take the little where it's got the little hole the little the small side of the net put it through and you put it on your hook like this so that way when you cast out you still got your bait on your hook because it's in your net but you got good really good hookup ratios with with its with it with these foam look I'll, I'll show you guys you take this deal right here put it back in like you get it when you buy it from the store look at this see say I'm, I'm, a, I'm a catfish I'm biting it see this I'm not even filling the barbs or the even the points of the hooks it just pulls right out of their mouth and if you actually stuff this thing with dough bait to where it stretches out like this one has over the last year or so it really ain't gonna you really ain't gonna get it you know what I mean the only thing you get is the the trailer hook trouble hook that I've that I've rigged up here and that just that's a hassle to deal with and hooking yourself I have done that I have done that a couple times but see I'm gonna do it this way this year with these circle hooks and they say circle hooks are better for catfishing anyways you get better better hookups or whatever they almost hook themselves when they bite it but I think this is gonna give me a lot better hookup ratio and I can still keep my dough bait and use it on the hook rather than using cut bait and getting in trouble because I live in California where it's illegal to use cut bait or at least cut bluegill okay and then for the high low rig here you just do it the same way through the back through the back of the net there so you hook your weight on the bottom right here and then you just dangle your hooks right through your little nets there and you're good to go good to go I think it's gonna work a lot better I was debating whether to do it this way through like the side of the net but I think it looks stupid like this I think it looks stupid that way looks better in line it's better in line like that I guess but see and another cool thing about this is and I didn't even think about it until till I started rigging one up for the demonstration video here but now when you are done fishing when you're done fishing and you're ready to go home you can just look how easy this is just to, it doesn't poking these with the with the uh, with the hook doesn't doesn't uh, jeopardize the integrity of this it's still perfectly fine so when you're done see, see how quick that is just to put on there that's easy it's simple so then when you go home this is still full of bait you just take it right off hook this on your eyelid of your fishing pole reel it up no stinky bait in your car you can put this right back in your tackle box or rinse it off in the pond or the lake good to go man plain simple easy and I hope I, I'm hoping this year I get some good hookups and don't got no fish getting off or missing missing bites or whatever because I can't set the hook on them because it just pulls it out their mouth but we're gonna try these with, with for the Carolina rig because they already got a leader on them. They already got a, got a leader on them, so we're gonna use these for the Carolina rig, and I'm just gonna use these straight up for just the hook straight off the high low rig, and I'll let you guys know how it is. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. It's almost guaranteed. All right, guys. Till next time.